Hello students, in this video we'll discuss present value calculations for random variables that involve annuities. We'll consider the future life random variable tx and curtate random variable kx. And what we'll do now is we'll consider a sequence of payments. On this number line. So what we'll do is we'll assume that you will receive one dollar every year, at the beginning of every year. There's time zero, time one, time two, time three, time four, etc. You receive one dollar at the beginning of every year if you've survived up to that point in time. So that's our sequence of payments. And so to understand how this, this random variable works, we'll do the following. We recall that if we have a double dot n, what this is, is this is one minus nu to the n over d, where nu is the discount, where nu is 1 plus i, the effective annual rate of interest is negative 1, and d is defined by d equals i v. That's our discount factor. And so we'll get, this is the present value of this stream of payments, because if we do this, if we just consider this as a random, as a regular discrete random variable, if we go up to level n, so if we go up to time n over here, we get a payment, that's the last payment, so we get a payment at n minus 1 of 1, and at n we would get nothing, then what would this be? Well, this would just be the sum. K goes from 0 to n minus 1 of nu to the k. And then what we can do is if we expand this out, this will just be our a double dot n. And what this is, is this will be nu to the n minus 1 over nu minus 1. And we can write this as 1 minus nu to the n over 1 minus nu by our geometric sum formula. And I know that 1 minus nu, so we know that nu is the reciprocal of this. So if I multiply this nu by i, I'll get d. So 1 minus nu is 1 minus 1 over 1 plus i and that is i over 1 plus i, and we can see that i over 1 plus i is exactly equal to d. So this is just exactly equal to 1 minus nu to the n over d. Now, we make this random in the following way. We say you will get $1 at the beginning of every year, provided you have survived up to this time. So now we have a random variable. And so what will the expected, what will the random variable be? So the random variable z will be 1 minus nu to the k x plus 1 over d. Because I'll get paid at the end of every, I'll get paid as long as I've survived up to that point. So that's our random variable, that's the curtate function. And now we can put the expected present value of this. So the expected present value of this is a double dot of x. And now we can write down a formula for what this will be. This will simply be, the first payment comes automatically, then the second payment of one comes provided that you have survived to that year with a discount factor of new, plus one times the probability that you've survived two years, new squared, etc. And so we have here, if we sum this up, it's just the sum, k goes from zero to infinity, nu to the k, k, px. That is the present value of the stream of annuities. Now we can consider, and this is a, considered a, this is a whole life, whole life annuity due. Now we can cap off the payments, if we decide to cap the payments, at death or a finite time
stopping point. Let's call that stopping point N. So the payments will stop at that point in time N. So then what we'll have is the following number line. We'll have zero, one, two, three, N minus one. And so what we'll get here is we'll have a one, 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 one. If you survive, and then after this point at time n, nothing happens after that point. If you survive to that point, you will just get your payments capped. And in this notation, we have a random variable. And so the random variable here is z. We'll have the same form. It'll be 1 minus nu to the minimum, the smaller, of k plus kx plus 1, or n, over d. And if we compute the expected present value of this random variable, e of z will be denoted for this. This is our term, a x with an n over here, double dot. And the same formula is true. What we'll have over here is we'll have the sum k goes from 0 up to n minus 1 of nu to the k, k px, where the last payment occurs at this time, n minus 1, provided that you have survived up to that point in time. Thank you very much.